and uh, can you recall any moment ma'am i'm sure there are many but anything that's really close to your heart or any conversation that you had anything that makes this journey of yours so very special to you any story that you would like to share at this point of time is rashmi there are plenty of them what can i say i mean probably i can tell you my favorite project was technology experiment satellite which we brought out for uh, you know to keep an eye on the indian borders mm. and that was uh, post pokhran 2 and uh, post kargil mm. we had to do that and uh, that was a wonderful satellite we brought in i think a uh, um, couple of dozen new technologies and uh, you know there was a ban on giving us the technology etc at that point of time but we took it as a challenge we brought it out and uh, that satellite worked so beautifully and it paved the way for uh, you know a different class of remote sensing satellites in india so uh, we could go to submeter resolution in those days we were the best in remote sensing for commercial applications in those days you know so um that was a very proud moment for me because i was part of that project that was one thing and uh, so many things like that you know huge and every project we worked on had a challenge of its own and i wo- worked as associate project director uh, associate uh, project director for uh, navigation program at that point of time uh, we brought our own indigenous navigation system and i was part of the study of uh, how to bring in uh, the design concepts and all that so uh, that was another wonderful experience where i could learn a lot every time you do those things you, know, you do learn and uh, the constellation is there and as good as gps for indians and and it is meant for special applications of course anybody can use but uh, those who have to use are using it so that is a proud moment and find us there at uh, you know headquarters when for satcom program at that point of time it was a wonderful experience i think i cherish the duration the most so it was like i could see the end to end entire uh, uh, panorama of the uh, communication in the country and i had to be in touch with prime minister or ministers in charge or here on the other side whether a, a jawan or a fisherman or a businessman who is using our communication end to end and uh, some of the programs we brought in like uh, tele education and tele medicine and when we thought that now with optical fiber cables and all that why do we need it we can stop it and we called all the secretaries and uh, chiefs to talk to us whether they are using how much they want to use otherwise we can utilize that resource somewhere else but what an overwhelming response it was everyone said please don't stop it especially when i talked to the integrated defense services the gentleman he came and told the how they are using it in the remotest areas in the northeastern uh, you know himalayan front and how it is useful for them i had tears in my eyes so i mean it gave me a um, kind of you know a gratification in life that uh, in some way i am a small bolt or not there but i am there serving the country in some way or the other you know so um lot of stories like that i mean maybe we have to sit for weeks together for me to tell you those stories <laughs> and along with these stories come highlight moments moments that uh you now sit back recollect and in your journey they become milestones uh unforgettable moments people you've met recognitions you've got and uh, overall looking at such a decorated journey that you've had so in your journey what are some of those milestones and spotlight moments that you still cherish yeah it was my career i did not stay at one yeah uh, one place of working mm-hmm. so in general terms we tell as divisions groups projects etc so um, i every time 
I felt very comfortable in a particular area. I always had a change for a uh, you know higher level and I had to handle bigger responsibility and more to learn. So they were always there. But uh, I think the um, most cherishable one was when uh, my director called me one day and uh, uh, in 2008 and he told me that, that uh, you are going to be the project director for a communication satellite. And that was when I, you know, it was a moment for me because it was a big responsibility and I had worked mostly on the remote sensing side. It was the communication satellites were another area altogether. And I had always worked in smaller domains, not as a project director. A project director normally in our office is a leader who has team members who are all experts in their own fields. It's not that you are going to tell them how to do. They're all experts by themselves. And handling them is not very easy. Whether they will talk in their own jargons, there are mechanical engineers, you know, uh, there are many specialities they'll be working on. And um, he told me, come back tomorrow and tell me whether you will take it. So I didn't come back tomorrow. I told him then and there, yes, sir, I will do it. Because... Uh, I said, this is a challenge for me, I'm going to do. He said, are you sure? I said, I'm very sure. You don't want to think about it. I said, no, I have thought about it. If you have confidence to offer me this post, I'm going to do that. So that was a kind of turning point in my life, I think. My judgment that I must take the challenge and do. And I know the path will not be that of roses. Uh, it's going to be a lot of hard work, I knew. And I said, yes without thinking or without going out of the room, I said, yes. So that was a great moment for me. See, awards, rewards and all, you leave it aside. And, you know, when you're working, I consider that they are more as a, you know, recognitions to give as an example for others than I think that it is for me or anything, because most of it is a teamwork, what we do. It's more as a, uh, you know, being a leader of a team, you will be called upon and you will be given it. So I do not attach any great significance that I got this or that, no. And uh, But the challenge I accepted was something great. And um, I had a conversation with my daughter, which I cannot forget. Already, even in my own smaller domains, it used to be a lot of work and extend, extended hours, etc., and when I came home and told I'm accepting as a project director, first thing she said is that, does it mean you can come back home early? Then I said, it means I'm going to work more than I have to work. Then she said, what? Then are you going to get more pay? Then she said, I said, no, pay is not linked to the work. <laughs> How much work I'm doing pays with my promotions. This is not a promotion. This is a higher responsibility of work. I am doing that. So, so she was very, um, you know, uh, wonderstruck. Why am I doing this? I have to work more. No extra pay. Why are you doing it? Then I said, this is what I want to do. Tomorrow when you grow up, I want you to do what you want to do. Where your heart lies, you should do it. You know, uh, I'm happy that I could set an example to my daughters.